Now, adjust that wire so that it points slightly forward. To load up the trebuchet, you slip the ring onto the wire and put your projectile into the sling. Pull it down and under the throwing arm. The first time you throw it probably won't go the direction you want it to. You want it to go up and forward at about a 45 degree angle. In this case it went straight down. So what I'm going to do to prevent it from doing that is I'm going to bend the sling hook back a little bit so that it comes off sooner. That went down again, but you can keep tweaking with this until it throws the way you like. Now there's only one thing left. Cocking and loading it without it going off by mistake. Now you're going to need a trigger mechanism in order to do that. So cut two equal length pieces of wire. and bend them into a horseshoe shape. Now find a good spot along the front of the base of the trebuchet and stick them into the balsa wood. If the balsa is not thick enough, you can stick another piece on top. Now you can see the side-by-side -side pieces of wire. Last, you take a piece of string cock the trebuchet or first, you can cut a little, okay, take a piece of string, cut a little nook in the throwing arm, not a big one, and tie it on.
And I use that to pull down the trebuchet to about where you want it to be when you fire it. Pull out the string to here. And cut off the excess. You can either glue another ring onto here or tie a loop. You can pull it down by the loop now so that the loop can go between the wires and you can put in a toothpick or another piece of wire or something along those lines and it'll hold it down. While that holds it down, you can load it and get it prepared. to fire. Ah! Yeah, it went backward. It still needs some tinkering. But once you've built it and tinkered around with it and gotten it to work, you've got your own tabletop trebuchet. You can make any variation of this. I once made one with a counterweight made of toothpicks. Didn't survive, but it worked for a while. This is the best one I've made. Throws the best, farthest. Ah, uh, my giant one. Throws bean bags and other sorts of objects. And that's about it. Once you've built a few trebuchets and gotten used to the techniques, you can start messing around with your own designs. Here's the same one I just showed you how to build after a few modifications. It threw pretty far. I've added a classic wrapped rope uh, design. Adjusted the pin. And I added a winching mechanism to pull it down just like they would in the Middle Ages. It's a fun and interesting hobby, and once you get into it, there's no limit to what you can do with it.